Vlogmas Day 18. Lay in the snow. Put up the tree. Come back till Christmas with me. Hey guys, it's Vlogmas Day 18. And today at work was our tacky Christmas day. So I'm wearing my tacky Christmas dress. Here it is. We got Santa and the reindeer on his sleigh. Can you guys see that? It's kind of it's a hard to show you. But yeah, that's my dress for today. And it's tacky and cute. So let's get into our admin All calendar. Right. Opening day 18. 18. I see it already. I see 19. He just went ah, by 18. <laughs> Feed the birds, their presence helps the world and your well-being. Feed the birds, toughen, seven. What did we get? Shea hand cream. Oh. Okay. All right, guys. On to day 18. Ooh, we got a liquid suede. And this is like super dark. It's called Stone Fox. And it's like a, a grayish black. I've never seen a color like this in lipstick. But very interesting. Let me just swatch it on my hand real quick. This is such a strange color. It's like a purpley gray black. Look. On my hand. So weird. Don't know if I like it, but... It's more of a Halloween color. But yeah. Um, and now I'm going to show you some of the presents I got today. Alright so guys. Yeah. So here's one of the first gifts I got today. This is actually a card from a little girl in the room right next to ours. Like our rooms are connected. So. Um, I was not expecting this at all. But. She gave me. A $25 Visa gift card. Like how crazy is that? That like. I don't even teach her, and she got me a gift card. That's so sweet. And then this is her little drawings. So cute. But her mom is so nice. Love it. All right. The next present I got was this mug. And it's really cute because, oh, <laughs> there goes the bow. It's really cute because when you, like, shake it, it the, all the glitter, like, moves around. And then you open the lid. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Open the lid. And there's lip balms inside. Look. There was three, but I gave my mom one because I don't need three lip balms. But they're Burt's Bees. This one's red raspberry with flavor crystals. And I've never tried these before, so I'm really excited. Oh, there's my finger. And <laughs> this one is pineapple flavored so that looks really good and then there's like lots of little candies and stuff in there super excited about that and then also i got this from one of my kids and it is this ginormous mug you guys don't even understand this is a hot cocoa that they got me to go with the mug and it fits inside of the mug because the mug is so huge like what is with giant mugs this year in christmas but it's really cute, and I really like it. But I don't know if I'm going to actually use it because it's so big. And I don't drink that much hot chocolate or tea or coffee. I don't really drink coffee because I don't like straight coffee. But I like fraps and stuff. But yeah, like that's, that's so big. Like, you guys, it probably doesn't look that big to you. But it's like a soup bowl. So big. But yeah, that's the presents I got hey today. Guys, so here is our story for tonight oh christmas tree i like this one because it has my name in it jenny said just think tomorrow is christmas eve jenny and matt and michelle were excited today they were going to get they were going with their father to buy the christmas tree i know just what kind of tree we should have said jenny a tree tall enough to touch the ceiling that would be perfect no said matt our tree should be big and wide. I think that's more important than tall. What I think, said Michelle, is that it should be the most special tree ever. Mother smiled. You're right about that, Michelle, she said. We all want it to be the most special tree ever.
Then Father said, all right, let's get going. Jenny and Matt and Michelle hurried to put on their coats and mittens, bundling up against the winter wind. It was a long way to the Christmas tree lot. Look in that store window, said Jenny when they got in the town. I see a toy shop with elves making toys. And I see Rudolph and the other reindeer in that one, cried Matt. Michelle looked too, but she had other things in her mind. She was searching for the Christmas tree lot. It seemed to take forever to get there, but Father finally said, Well, here we are. Michelle was the first to run over the fence. Jenny quickly spotted the tree she wanted. She picked out a very tall, thin pine. This is the one, she said. But Matt said, here's a better one. He pointed to a short, wide tree with branch, full branches. None of the Christmas trees seemed right to Michelle. Then in a corner of the lot, she saw a scraggly little tree that seemed to say, Please pick me. I want to be your tree. Here's the one I want, called Michelle. The others came over. At first, they laughed at such a small tree, but finally Father said, All right, if you insist, this is, this is, this is the one it will be. Look at that tiny little Charlie Brown tree over there. When they got home, Mother was surprised to see such a small tree. Michelle insisted, said Father with a smile, so here it is. Just then, Grandma and Grandpa arrived. Now we can all decorate the tree together, said Matt. Jenny made a special string out of beads she had been saving. She wound them around the tree's branches. Matt hung up the special toy soldier ornament that he had made at school. And Michelle put her angel doll at the very top. Grandma said, Your tree is a bit small, but you have made it look so beautiful. I can see why you love it so. I think it's a special tree, too. The next night, Christmas Eve, everyone gathered around the tree to sing. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, he leaves us faithful ever. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, he leaves us faithful ever. Not only green when summer glows, but in the winter when it snows. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, he leaves us faithful ever. As they sang, right before their eyes, the little tree became more and more beautiful. Lights twinkled from every branch, and its bright bulbs sparkled. The little tree seemed to be saying, Look how beautiful I am, and how happy I am to be your Christmas tree. The next morning was Christmas. When the family got up, the little tree was as beautiful as ever. Santa had filled all their stockings and left their presents under the tree. Oh, cried Jenny, look at this dollhouse. It isn't, and it isn't, even has furniture inside. Matt said, this train engine is great. I can't wait to try it out. And Michelle squeaked, what a beautiful doll Santa has left for me. I think I'll name her Sally. As it saw the happy children, the little tree seemed to smile and say, I'm proud to be your special Christmas tree. A week after Christmas, Grandma and Grandpa left. Then Mother said, it's time to take, our Christmas, take down our Christmas tree. I know what said Michelle. Let's plant our tree in the yard. That way we'll always have it. Maybe it will grow. But Jenny and Matt laughed. You can't plant a Christmas tree in the yard, silly, said Jenny. Can't we please just try, asked beg Michelle. All right, said Father. I know how much you children have loved our special tr little tree. We'll try, but don't expect it to work. And so Father dug a hole and they all held a little tree planting ceremony. All winter long, Michelle kept a special watch over her little tree. Every day, she looked out the window to see if the tree was still standing in the snow. At first, Jenny and Matt smiled when they saw Michelle at the window. Doesn't she know that a Christmas tree can't be planted? Matt whispered to Jenny. But long before, but before long, Jenny and Matt began to look out the window every day with Michelle. At first, I thought your idea was silly, said Jenny. But maybe it will. It really will work. I know it will, said Michelle. I think our little tree loved us as much as, as much as we loved it. Spring finally came. On the first warm day, Jenny and Matt and Michelle went out outdoors. Michelle ran to see their little tree. She called, Jenny, Matt, come look. Jenny and Matt came running over. Sure enough, there were some bright green new branches sprouting from the tree. I told you our Christmas tree was special, Michelle said. I knew it would be here for us in the spring. With that, Jenny and Matt Michelle made a circle around the little tree and began to dance around it, singing, 
Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, your branches green delight us. The little tree waved its new branches in the warm spring wind. It seemed to smile and say, thank you for being so kind to me. Now each time you look, for, look at me, you can remember Christmas. It will be like having the spirit of Christmas in your yard all year round. All right, that was our story, guys. And tomorrow is the elves and the shoemaker. This one's really cute, too. Good night.